All right, it seems Delta Goodrum is never far from a headline these days, the latest being reports of a romantic link to voice host Darren McMullen. So what is she really up to? Chris Urquhart caught up with Delta for this exclusive interview. Tonight, Delta Goodrum. Hello. Hey, Chris, how you how doing? You going? Lovely to Good. see you. You too. You well? Yes. On love and life. There's so much to talk about, so much to write about. On all those headlines. I haven't, you know, done anything too crazy. On all the criticism. I have days where I think, oh my gosh, what am I wearing? And on something she's been wanting to announce. Is there a secret? So she's been a busy woman, a coach on The Voice, writing a new album, the photos, the sponsorship deals and a new music video. But while Delta sits on top of the world, a bullying campaign on social networks and in the media has criticised just about everything. It seems like everyone's watching you, but everyone's got an opinion as well. How do you cope with that? The thing is, Chris, is that like, I, I'm, I'm turning 28 by the end of the year, I'm 27. I really, I don't know any other life. I have grown up like this. The latest gossip, a rumoured romantic link with voice host Darren McMullen. And whether snapped in public with him or out shopping with her mum, her life is fodder for the press. I respect that when I'm in public that that's, that's part of my life. I just do everything the best way I can and that's all I kind of can control. I can't control everything else. I don't try to. Now this is your first DVD. There's something inside that I want you to see. Just have a read of that first line there. What does it say? You're not going to say anything nice. Don't say anything at all. <laughs> it's tough when not everyone has the same attitude. So many people do love her though and the endorsements are rolling in. Vitamin Company Swiss is one of them, though making those advertisements was a little hair raising. And as I stood there and all of a sudden they said, he's going to run at you, but he'll stop. And you just see, there was this one where I was like, he's not stopping, I'm out, I'm out, I just ran out. Fitness and health are crucial to that figure, that image and that beauty. But beauty's one thing, good health is quite another. Tonight, Delta is in Sydney St Vincent's Hospital with family by her son. The diagnosis and cancer battle changed everything. This weekend, she's supporting old friend Olivia Newton-John at the opening of a new cancer centre. I'll never forget her coming up to me at seven years old. I'm 27 and I remember everything that Olivia said to me at that moment. <laughs> of course, great. It's one of the reasons why Delta rarely, if ever, says no to a photo with a fan. Smile, guys. Or to a chat. You can't go anywhere without everyone wanting a, wanting a photo. Is it nice uh, to see their smiles? Yeah, absolutely, when people, hello. I feel like I know everybody. I must. I think I seem like the lunatic, so I'm like, <laughs> hi, how are you? Yeah, things are good. What's going on in your world? Her world is about to get even busier. An album on the way and a new single, Dancing with a Broken Heart, out next month. Right. Go back to LA and we're going to shoot that and then come on back. Why can't you stay here? <laughs> I'm back and forth so much. I'm literally going to be jumping between Oz and, and my home in LA and just keep jumping back but I have been here for a while with the voice. Are you coming back for season two? Honestly like I think we all just we're just recovering from the end of the show and then I, I'm guessing everybody will talk about it. And while those details are still being confirmed we will get her back for a tour she's announced it for the end of the year. On my shows I feel like it's in my environment this is where we can be completely crazy and sing and dance at the top of our lungs. She's excited she's happy and she won't let critics or haters change a single thing. There's nothing uncool about wanting to do the right thing or being a good person. There's nothing uncool about that to me.